Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another edition of Magical Mondays. Before anybody says anything, no, I'm not driving. I am parked. Okay? Okay. So let's get started with this week's topic, which was chosen by me. First of all, I do apologize for this video being a little late. However, I was having problems uploading my vid video from Monday. So this is Magical Monday, the I'm late edition. Sorry about it. This week's topic was chosen by myself, and it was winter. We are approaching the winter season, so I thought it was appropriate to talk about what we liked about winter and what we did not like about winter. Um, I'll start with my favorite things. My favorite things is spending time at home with my family and my friends when I'm off work. Um, I like a little bit of snow, not too much to where it is crappy to drive in. Um, and I like... Um, putting up Christmas trees, drinking hot chocolate, watching Christmas movies, and of course, Christmas. And my least favorite things. First and foremost, drivers in Cincinnati cannot drive in that snow. So that's my least favorite things. They suck. Second, I do not like it to be really, really cold, like five degrees. That's too cold for me. And third, I don't like a ton and ton of snow. So those are my favorite my least favorite things. Next, I promised you guys this week that I was going to um, answer people's questions. Now I'm going to try to do this from memory because I do not have the questions in front of me. So, the first question comes from Monica, and she asked, If I could walk in the shoes of any celebrity, who would it be and why? And before I answer that question, I'm going to say one thing. Any of my answers are coming from me. I'm not being shady at all. So if you think I am, I'm sorry, but I'm not. Okay, so. The celebrity shoes I would walk in would be... This might sound stupid, but Adam Lambert. One, he's hot. Two, he has a good voice. Three, he's amazing and was on, I believe, American Idol, and I loved him from day one. So that's two. Okay, next question comes from Ginger. She wants to know if I know how awesome she is. Of course, Ginger, you're amazing. I love you. Miss you too. Um, my next question comes from Jennifer. She wanted to know if I've ever ran over a lesbian's foot in a parking lot with my car. And the answer to that is yes. I sure have. And it was great. I didn't like the person. Sorry about it, but it was fun. Second question she wanted to know was if I... Um, how many draft beers it took for a, a lesbian and a gay man to get drunk. Also known as her and I, back in the day. Uh, not very many, because they were 50 cents. Alright, so my next several questions come from Jessica Diamond. First question is, um, do I think I'm a celebrity? No, I do not think I'm a celebrity. I never have, and I never will. Next question is, do I think I have fans? It doesn't matter to me if I have fans or not. I have a lot of friends that care about me and care for me and love me and support me, so I don't really need fans. All I have is friends, and that's all I need. The highlight of my drag career was when I was asked to be Miss Cincinnati Third Coast Newcomer Emeritus. At the time that I was given the title, I was not a promoter or had anything to do with the pageant system. Three months after they um, gave me the title, they did sell it. Um, I performed in my crown twice. And then this past year, I rebought the system. So yeah. Um, where did I perform? I performed up at Celebrity in Dayton, the original Celebrity, every Wednesday night with Mandy O'Toole. Um, I performed on a Saturday um, with the Disney and Friends show with Sabrina Summers. Um, I performed once a month at Yada Club on Wednesday nights when Whitney Sierra Devine was show director. I performed once a month at Bullfishes when Whitney was the show director. I also performed two to three times a month at Jacob's on the Avenue 
with the Chicks with Dick show. I was on cast there with Empire State, Sissy Come Drops, and Jesse somebody. So yeah, do I have any videos? I do not because I didn't have a camera at the time. And do I have any pictures of me on stage? Yes, I do have a couple of pictures on me on stage. I will try to find them and post them on my Facebook page if they are not already there. I hope I answered everybody's questions. Um, unfortunately, due to some uploading issues, Whitney Sierra Devine was unable to upload her video, which she did make. So I apologize for that. We're going to try to get this issue worked out somehow. Maybe a little late on her video. We will have it. Stay tuned for... Um, Friday's video, or I'm sorry, Thursday's video, um, where it will be Foxy Lane from Dayton, Ohio. Um, also, next Saturday, we will have a special guest, Apollo Summers, who will be on this channel as well. So that's all I have for now. I'm getting my backdrop this week. Um, I've already looked at it. It's amazing. I love it. It's shiny. And it sparkles. So, yeah. That's the end of my video for now. Remember, be safe from the cast of What's Crackin'. Happy Holidays. And, as always, be gay.